Turkey has commenced the assembly of the second prototype of its indigenous fifth-generation fighter, known as KAAN, formerly TFX. The skeletal airframe dubbed P-1 has been observed rolling off the production line at Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, with structural components such as fuselage sections, wing roots, and vertical stabilizers now under construction. The target is to conduct the maiden flight of P-1 in 2026. The first prototype, P-0, made its inaugural flight on February 21, 2024, completing a 13-minute sortie at elevations of roughly 8,000 feet and speeds near 230 knots. A subsequent flight pushed performance higher, reaching about 10,000 feet and remaining airborne for over 14 minutes. The P-1 prototype is now entering the system integration phase, which includes wiring, avionics, internal systems, and preparation for power plant installation. TAI officials have stated that design refinements will distinguish P-1 from P-0, including optimized air inlet geometry, internal structural balance, and weight distribution adjustments. A critical shift anticipated in CONS evolution is the transition from the interim GE F110 engines used in initial prototypes to a domestically produced TEI TF35000 engine, scheduled for integration in the 2030s. Ground testing of TF35000 is expected to begin in 2026. KAAN aims to incorporate stealth features, internal weapons bays, supercruise potential, and advanced sensor fusion. In projected specifications, the fighter is expected to deliver length, tilde 21m, some revisions suggest 20.3m, and wingspan tilde 14m, or 13.4m. Empty weight, tilde 17000-18000 kg, normal takeoff weight tilde 25000 kg, maximum takeoff tilde 27000-30000 kg. Top speed, tilde Mach 1.8, tilde 2 200 km h. Range, exceeding 2000 km, or tilde 1 100 nautical miles in design projections. Service ceiling, tilde 16 800 meters, 55,000 feet. Payload, tilde 6 7000 kg using internal bays and optional external stores. Armament integration, Turkish programs indicate payloads may include Gurkdone, Beyond Visual Range Missile, Bozdoğan, Short Range, SOMJ Standoff Missiles, and Precision Guided Bombs, HGK, LGK, with future support for hypersonic munitions and AI-enabled weapon management. International collaboration is already underway. In July 2025, Turkey and Indonesia signed a landmark agreement for 48 KAAN jets, making Indonesia the launch export customer with local production and technology transfer planned. Turkey aims to deliver initial cons by 2028, beginning with 20 Block 10 aircraft and ramping up production to about two jets per month by 2029. Long-term targets include building at least 100 aircraft by 2050, solidifying cons' role in Turkey's defense architecture. However, significant challenges remain. Export of GE F-110 engines is subject to U.S. licensing and regulatory controls, which could constrain CONS testing and market expansion. Turkish officials argue engine approvals are delayed by U.S. congressional review, creating pressure on program timelines. Turkey plans to replace the F-110 with its TF-35000 engine starting in the early 2030s to eliminate this dependency. CON's development responds in part to Turkey's removal from the F-35 program in 2019, reinforcing the country's strategic shift toward defense self-reliance. Future versions may feature manned-unmanned teaming, with KAAN controlling drone wingmen such as Anchor 3 UCAVs in advanced missions. If prototype P-1 launches in 2026 and passes rigorous testing, the program will be well-positioned to move into low-rate initial production toward the decade's end. The unveiling of the second prototype marks a crucial progression in CONS trajectory, edging Turkey closer to joining the exclusive group of countries able to field indigenous fifth-generation fighters. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, thank you for watching.